A trip overseas to visit a loved one turns into a big hassle for a Southwest suburban family. They reached out to CBS 2 after COVID-19 shut down Ecuador's borders and they feared they were trapped overseas. Days later, they tell CBS 2 Stephen Graves how they finally completed their journey back to the U.S. It was supposed to be a quick trip. Early March, Catherine Vega and her parents set out from Chicago to Quito, Ecuador. They wanted to check in on her great aunt's health. It actually wasn't related to coronavirus, but soon enough, like the whole trip was affected by coronavirus. That's because the country's borders shut down. No one was allowed in, which meant canceled flights and a pushed back departure date to the end of April. I was very frantically trying to get us out because I felt like my parents' jobs depended on it. Determined to get back here earlier, Catherine reached out to local government officials. She thought the U.S. Embassy would have answers, but maybe not. Their advice was to contact commercial airlines, and there were no commercial airlines flying out of Quito. She had to go to a support group on Facebook, where hundreds of Americans stranded in Ecuador led her to a recently added United Airlines flight, but she got nervous when no one could validate it. The embassy routinely deny that the flight existed. Turns out it was real, but the embassy didn't confirm it until the day before takeoff. Vega was frustrated. CBS2 went to the embassy's Facebook to find out she's not alone. We are constantly updating our embassy website with flight information. Whenever we get anything from any charter, any possibility, we put it right there. We checked, and as of recently, that's true. But note, these flights aren't free. Travelers have to reimburse the government. Like so many obstacles. Now at home after hours of delays and more money spent. If you're ever in this situation, you have to be proactive about doing your own research. Vega wants others to remember there are still others struggling to get back in need of help. Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. The State Department estimates about 13,000 Americans are still stranded overseas because of COVID-19.